Welcome to the homework for lesson five. It's module six of second grade. Please get your name on here first. It says circle groups of five and then draw the clouds into two equal rows. So I'm circling groups of five. There's, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'm going to kind of loop that guy in there. Now I have to make this really goofy looking. group like that to loop them all in. There's probably a better way to do that. Uh, but I'm going to leave it the way it is. And now I'll draw them into two equal rows. So I've got two groups of five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now you might notice this. I drew circles instead of clouds. You can draw clouds. There's nothing wrong with that. I just drew circles. You can draw circles too. It's, it's easier. But one of the things I want to mention is that not only did I draw them in rows, but I'm also trying to draw them so that they kind of look like this too. So they're a little organized. And here's an example of how they look when they're not organized. One, two, three, four five so that they're not exactly matched up they're all different sizes if you can try and get them so that they look like that two groups uh, circle groups of four all right, so, and then redraw them as four as rows and then as columns. Rows go sideways, so these are rows. These are the columns. You don't have to write that. I'm just putting that on there so you know which one's which. Uh, four groups of four, so that's these four here, and then four here, and then these four I can loop together. So let's see. There are four rhombus. They look like rhombuses. And then for the columns, don't worry too much about where to start for this because you can start them here. It looks like a triangle, I can tell. It doesn't matter if you start them here or if you start them uh, or if you start them here and finish. There we need for what we need now is four in each column. So no matter where you start it, you're going to have three columns. That's the idea. But you're going to have four in each column like this. circle groups of four and redraw the groups of four as rows. So these are the rows and these are the columns. So the rows, we need groups of four. We'll see how many groups of four we have. One, two, three, four groups of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then as columns, you know, you can start, if you start here, just remember that there's four in each column. So now that first column, once I have it done, now I just have to keep making columns until I have four columns. So I'm going to just copy that. Once I have the first column, it's pretty easy because then I can just keep going. And I need four of them, right? Because there's four groups of four. One, two, three, four. 
Count the objects in the arrays from left to right by rows and columns. As you count, circle the rows and then the columns. So if we're going by rows, then we're counting three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. And then I'm going to count them by rows. Now I'm, now I'm going to count them by columns. So columns, there's five, ten, fifteen. Same thing with these triangles. Uh, this time I'm going to count them as columns first. So there's four in each column. So here's a column. Four, eight, twelve. And now by rows, I'm going to count three, six, nine, twelve. Please say the numbers out loud when you count. Redraw the smiley faces and triangles in problem four as columns of three. So both of these, so here's the smiley faces. There I'm going to draw them as columns of three. So think about this. I'm going to draw, first I'm going to do is draw one column of three. One, two, three. And these are the smiley faces. So how many columns of three? I'm going to need 15 smiley faces, so I have to keep drawing columns of 3 until I have 15 smiley faces. So that's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And now this one here, now th these are going to be, in right now they're in columns of 4, but I'm, now I'm going to draw them in columns of 3. And I'm going to need, there's going to be 12 of them, right? So that's column one column of 3 to begin with. And now I'm going to just keep drawing more of them until I have 12 triangles. So that's 6, And I'm kind of drawing different triangles, aren't I? But I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to go with it. 9, 12. Draw an array with 20 triangles. So that's any array at all, right? It doesn't say how many rows or columns it has to have. Uh, so I'm just going to do this one. I'm going to do rows of, two rows of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now for it to be an array, it has to have rows and columns. So when I draw my other row of 10, I don't want it to start here because then these, these aren't exactly in the same column. I have to draw... Columns have to be up and down like this. So, and try not to rush it too much. It's mostly about just taking your time to make sure that you don't draw one that's in, like here in the middle of those two. Like, which column is this guy in? Is he in this column or that column? I can't tell. So, don't be careful about that and just slow down. It doesn't take that much more time to, to be careful and have it come out looking right the first try. You'll actually save yourself time. There. Array with 20 triangles. Show a different array with 20 triangles. So let's see. I could draw, um, instead of two rows of 10, I could have, I could draw rows of 5, right? Because 5, 10, 15, 20. So there's a row of 5, and now I need another row of 5. There's 10.
And these are not the only arrays that are right answers for this. There's lots of arrays that will different ways to draw arrays for 20 triangles. I mean, here I've got two rows. I've got two rows of 10. I've got four rows of five. You can run five rows of four. You could have 10 rows of two. You can have one row of 20 or one column of 20. There's lots of different ways to do this. So lots of different ways to have arrays. As long as they have rows and columns and all the columns have the same number of triangles in them and all the rows have the same number of triangles in them, it'll work out fine.